Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this ring using FreeCut. So this is how it looks in FreeCut. Uh, so if you like this design, you can follow my tutorial. And also give me a like and subscribe. So thank you. Okay, so I start by creating a new document. And in the Sketcher workbench, I create a new sketch in the right view. And I create a three point um, end point and rim point arc, something like this. Now I select uh, the center point and the vertical line and I set a constraint. I select this point and this point and this uh, middle line and I hit S for symmetry constraint. I select this point and this point and I hit L. And set it to five. Now zoom close here. I click on this point and I move this one down a little bit. I click on this arc and I set the radius to five. I select this point and this point. I hit A and I set it to ten. Okay. Now I click on this arc and I turn that into the construction geometry. And I create a center arc and I start from this point. And I click one point in here and put one point here. Okay, now I click on this point. You can see we still can move this point. I click on this point and click on this line and I set a constraint. Okay, now the sketch is fully constrained. Now I can close that. I go to the plot workbench. And I go up to the view, toggle the axis cross to show the arrow. Now I want to uh, revolve it around the y axis. So I go to the model tab and I click on the sketch and I revolve it. I click on the Y axis and I click OK. Now I go back to the Sketcher workbench. I create a new sketch in the front view. And I create two lines. The first line from the center go out to the right. The second one is um, go to the left. And I click on this point, this point, and the center line. I hit S for symmetry constraint. I click on this line and this line, and I set the angle to 12. Enter. Now I can close that. Now I click on the sketch and go to the product workbench. And I issue it to 10. And in default is the negative y axis is good. I click OK. Now I click on the revolve control. Click on the is true. I go to the prop, split, and slide to compile. Okay. Now zoom close here. We have two line here. Next, I go to the curl workbench. And I want to create uh, the middle line in here, in this surface. To do that, I click on the surface. And I create um, ISO curve. I click on the ISO curve. And I click on the ISO curve in the tree view. And I set the number U uh, to uh, 0 and the number V to 1. Now you can see we have a single line in between the surface. Now zoom close here. Now I click on the slide and control click on the ISO curve. And I go to the view. And I set the point side to 10. Now I click on this point and control click on this point. And I create a line in between. Now I click on this line 
and I hit space branch to hide it. Now I uh, click on this boy and this boy, and I keep creating line. And I click on this line and I hide it. This boy and this boy. I create a line and then I click on it and I hide it. This one and this one. Okay, now I have four lines. Now I click on these three lines and I show it. And I click on the ISO curve and control click on the slide and hit space bar to hide it. Now I go to the surface workbench. I click on the filling tool and I fill this these four lines. Now I have a new surface. Now I click OK. Next I want to mirror this um surface to the other side. I click on the surface and I go to the product bench and I click on the mirror tool, click on it, and I want to mirror uh in the S and Z plane. X and Z plane. I click OK. Now I go to this rock workbench. I hide the grid. Now I control click on this surface and then this surface and I click on upgrade. Now we have a new fusion in here. I click on the fusion and I go to modification, array tool and polar array. I click on reset point and I type in here 20. Click OK. Now in default, uh, the polar array around the Z axis. So I click on the array and I go to the data. And down here, you click on the axis and you change the Z to zero and the Y to one. Okay, now we have something like this. Maybe I should change this um, number to 30. Okay. Next, I go to the curl workbench and I click on the array and I use the tool parametric solid. Now we have a single surface in here. I zoom close here. And I choose um, this boy. I control select this boy and then this boy. And I create a line in between. I click on this boy and then this boy. And I create another line. Then I go back to the surface workbench. And I click on the filling tool and I fill the surface. I click OK and click on the filling tool again, fill the surface inside. OK, fill in again this one. OK. Now I go to the drop bench. In the drop bench, I shift select these three and I upgrade. Click on the upgrade. And now we have a compile. I click on the compile and go to modification, array tool, and polar array. Click on the reset point and this time 30. Okay. And I click on the array and go to the data and the aces zero out the z and put one in the y. Okay, now we have something like this. Next, I go to the curl workbench and I shift B and select everything and using the parametric solid. 
product. Now that you've filled the surface, I go to the sketcher workbench. And I create a new sketch in the right view. And I view the section. And I reference uh, this line and this line. Okay. Now I create two lines. Something like this. I select this line and this point, and I set a constraint. I select this line and this point, and I set a constraint. Now I hit close. I click on the sketch 002, go to the private bench, and I will issue it to uh, 50. And symmetric, click OK. Now click on um, the issue and control, click on the solid 001. I go to the part, split, and then slide apart. Okay. Now I control click on this one and this one, and I delete it. And in the G view, we have two slides. I drop this one down and drop this one down. And I click on the solid 001 and then hit spacebar to show it. Okay. Now I hit Shift B to select everything. And I go back to the curl workbench and parametric solid. Now I create a hole in the center. I go to the front view and go to the sketch workbench and create a new sketch in the front view. And I view the section. This time I um, create a, a circle. Now I click on the circle and I set the diameter to 90. Hit OK. Now I can close that. I click on the sketch 003, go to the part workbench, and it's through this one to 40 symmetric. Okay. Now I click on the solid 002 and control click on the issue and I cut it. Next I create a, a new sketch in the right view. I go to the sketcher a new sketch in the right view and I also view the section I zoom on top and I reference this line this line I create a line connect from this point to this point okay now I create a line from this point up here and I select this line and I set the heart, the vertical constraint and I select this line I hit A 0.75 enter and I create another line from here to the left and I select this one and I set the horizontal constraint I select this line I hit L and set it to 0.6 and I create another line from this point down here and I select this point and this point I hit A 0.4 now I create an arc from here to here something like this and I zoom out, I select this point and this line, and I set a constraint. I zoom in here and select this point and this point, and I hit H for horizontal constraint. Next, I create polyline. And I click on this point. You can see my polyline uh, is now tangent 
So I hit M and then hit M again. Now I move, now I create another line up like this. I move it to the left and the fin is in here. Okay. Now I select this line and make sure you set the vertical constraint. I um, select this line and then this line. I hit E for equal. Now I create another point and I put this point on this arc and I select this point and this line and I also set a constraint. Now I select this point and this point. I hit I and I set it to 0 0.35. Enter. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I can close that. I click on the new sketch and I go to the part of bench and I will revolve it in the Y axis. Click on the Y and click on OK. Now zoom in here. I select this slide and control select this slide, this slide, and then this slide. And I set the um, fillet to 0 0.2. OK. I zoom inside here. I can draw select this line and this line. And I set the fillet to 0 0.5. Okay. Now we have two solid. So I click on the cut and I hit Ctrl D and I set the material to um from hit close I click on the fillet and hit control D and set the material to go now I control select the cut and the fillet and I go to the view uh, deviation down to 0 0.01 okay now I view the set uh, you can you still can um, a union them together and it's fine now we just finished modeling the ring so thanks for watching